G'day viewers, I'm Chris. Uh, welcome to the creative space. How about we head on over to our workbench and uh, start getting creative. Catch you there. Alright, here we are back at the workbench. Uh, today's creative project that we're doing is a crocheted poppy, keeping in line with our Anzac theme uh, from the last episode that we made the, the uh, commemorative lantern. The things that you're going to need to make the poppy, of course, are some yarn, so black and red I've got, and I'm using an eight ply yarn for that. You're going to need a three and a half millimeter crochet hook and a pair of scissors and that's pretty much it. And look, um, you may need to have a bit of knowledge about the different um, stitches and things. If you're a starter uh, for crochet, then I will be putting out some beginner crochet uh, tutorials as well. But in the meantime, look, um, like I did, I scanned the uh, scanned good old YouTube and there's quite a lot of, of great tutorials on there. Um, so uh, have a look at those if you're not sure about the stitches that I'm using today. All right, so we're going to, I'll just get the red out of the way. We're going to make a magic ring. And um, this was one of the difficult things that I had to learn in um, doing crochet. So I used to get it mixed up. Um, so the way to do it is around your two fingers, um, place your yarn over with the tail pointing downwards and not up. Then we just wrap that around our fingers, making sure that we get a, a crossover. Then we put our hook underneath the bottom yarn thread um, over the top and pull that top thread through. And as we come back through, we want to twist it back around that way. And then we basically pull the tail piece of wool back through that loop. And this is where it can get a bit tricky sometimes. There we go, done. And I just like to pull that tail out because I find that sometimes it gets caught up in the crocheting and when you get to the end and try and pull it tight it just doesn't do it. So now that we've got our magic ring what we're going to do is to put seven single crochets into that ring. So here we go. So we've got one Two, three, and seven. And just pull the ring slightly. I don't like to pull it all the way up so it's really tight. Um, I like to leave a bit of give there until the end and then when I'm finished it, I can then give it a good um, tug on there to get it tight. Now in this first stitch, and you may find it a bit hard to see being a black yarn, but in that first stitch, we're going to do a slip stitch, which is basically put your crochet hook through, pull your thread through that one, and then pull it through again into that. And then that's our slip stitch. And to lock that off, we just grab the thread, pull it through. And then we cut that tail off. and pull it all through and just gently tighten it up. 
So the next part, we want to use that first stitch that we've just done. We're going to push our crochet hook through that first stitch and then we're going to get our red yarn. And we're going to make a uh, slip knot with our red yarn and by, similar to doing a magic ring but this time two fingers we have the thread going up not down so we want the thread going up and we just basically wrap that around our fingers like that we then put our hook under the bottom one pull the top thread through and twist our hand around as we go keep a hold of those two threads and you've got your slip knot just pull that up tight and we're going to pull that loop through that stitch just like that and we're going to chain three if I can get my hands right there we go so we go one two three and we're going to do three treble or triple crochets into that same stitch so a treble crochet we wrap it around our hook once and then twice then we take the hook back down through that stitch grab the thread and pull it through and we just want to pull it through the first two stitches the next two stitches and then the last two and that is a treble and we will do another two of those into that same stitch So that's two. Now into this next stitch that we've got, we will do another three treble crochets. So again, we wrap the yarn around our hook once and twice, take it through that stitch, grab the yarn and pull it back through. And then we go hook and go through two, go through two, go through the last two. And so that's our first one. We do another two of those. All right, and that is our first petal. Now in this next stitch, which is there, we're going to do a slip stitch. So through, pull the yarn through, pull it through again. And we're going to chain three again. Oops. Two, three. And then we're going to do another three treble crochets into that same stitch like the first time. So that's three in that one, then another three into the next stitch. So there's our second pedal. Into the next stitch, we do a slip knot and chain three. 
and then another three trebles into that stitch. To the next stitch, we do another three trebles. Sorry about that, just hit the stand. And another, then we go into the next stitch and do a slip knot. And we chain three. And then another three trebles into that one. To that final stitch we do another three trebles. That's of course if I can find it. There we go. Whoops. three and then we find that first stitch that we um, started with and we do a slip knot to finish off through and then we find our magic ring thread and pull it tight Oop, not that one must be this one there we go pull that tight to close up the ring and there you go there we have our poppy now what you can do is uh, then um, use a darning needle and thread those in through the back and uh, tie them off. Or if you wanted to, you could use those uh, threads on the back to sew it onto a beanie or a hat or shirt or whatever. Um, also uh, to then wear it, uh, you could get a badge or a brooch pin even a safety pin to putting it through there and then you can pin it onto your um, shirt. So I hope you've uh, 
enjoyed learning a bit of crochet along the way as well. And just a reminder, you know, uh, have a look out for the videos that I'll be doing uh, to help uh, with beginners. Another episode of The Creative Space uh, meets the end of the video clip. So please uh, hit that bell so that you know, get notified of new content that we put up. Uh, subscribe button, really appreciate it if you did that as well. Please leave your feedback. Uh, I'd like to hear ideas and things of what you might like to see us do here on The Creative Space. And please share us with your friends. Uh, get them creating as well. And remember until the next episode of The Creative Space that every day is a good day to be creative. See ya.